welcome to a new vlog. Um, it is currently Saturday. We just took Harvey to his second follow-up vet appointment. Um, everything's gone well. Everything's healed well. Um, he just has a bit of a scab from where they like shaved um, around like the site of where they did the desexing, whatever. So yeah, they wanted us to keep the cone on his head for another like week until we have the next um, follow-up appointment. And I was like, oh, we both go back to work. Um, like they gave us an antibiotic cream for the like scab thing. Um, and I'm like, oh, we've both got to go back to work and like his head doesn't fit through the flap jaw um, with the cone on. So we can't have the cone on. She was like, oh, okay, just keep like a good eye on him. I'm like, okay. So hopefully that's all good because like we can't take any more days off, honestly. Um, so yeah. I actually booked us to go and watch Inside Out 2, which I'm so excited about. I'm not going to wear any makeup because I know I'm going to bore my eyes out. So I just like kind of curled my hair to make myself feel a bit better. Um, and like just put on some like serum on my face, curled my eyelashes. Um, but yeah, it's a really gloomy day today. It's raining um, and I'm excited to go to the movies. So that's what we're going to do. And yeah, I will probably bring my camera, but obviously won't film. Um, and I'll just, you know, see what see what I end up filming. But anyway, I have to go get dressed, and then we're gonna leave, get some snacks, and that's gonna be our Saturday afternoon. <laughs> just like that, we're back from the movies. We got back like maybe forty minutes ago. Um, it's now like four twenty, and I'm just in our bedroom with Harvey. And I'm going to start reading the third book, um, Magnolia Parks. What is this one called? I don't even know. Let me have a look. The Long Way Home. So this is the third book and it's the Magnolia Parks one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start reading this this afternoon. I'm going to start cooking dinner quite early because we didn't have lunch. We just had like those snacks that I showed you. Um, so yeah, because the movie was at like 12.30 and we had like protein oats for breakfast, so I wasn't really that hungry, but I was starving. So I just made myself a like bagel thin with butter and like maple syrup. It was a cinnamon and raisin one, so it's delicious. It's going to tie me over until dinner, which is chicken and waffles. I'm so excited. Um, I'll show you guys when we're making it. Happy Sunday, it's like 6 a.m. and we're just getting ready to go to the gym. This is my new Elite 11 hoodie. So I don't know if I suit hoodies that much. I just have pre-workout. Hello. <laughs> Happy Monday. Um, I didn't really vlog anything today just because I ended up like waking up a bit later for work today and then I just kind of had to scramble to get ready. Plus Harvey was being like super annoying. Um, I don't know where to put you to talk to you. Anyway, we went to the party yesterday and Carlton won. Um, I just took Harvey for a walk. That's why I'm in a beanie. I bet you if I take it off my hair, it's going to look disgusting. So I'm just going to keep it on for a sec. Um, he's actually just eating right now, if that's what you can hear. I took him for a walk, um, like a 40 minute walk. Hopefully to tire him out because he's been so annoying since I got back, um, which is fair because, you know, he's been by himself. So, um, yeah, I went to work today, came home, took home for a walk, um, and now it is 4.42 and I'm gonna have a shower, get some stuff ready for dinner and read I'm going to read more. Is this tape? Wow, yeah, that's an awful angle. Okay. I know this is a bit crooked, but I'm going to get out of the shower. And I'm going to take off my makeup because I usually leave it till like late. And I can't bother like doing it properly. So I'm actually. Good boy. I'm going to do my skincare. Because Harry's not home yet, so. Um, I'm not making dinner yet, which is good, um, except I'm starving. So, basically, 
what I'll do is I'll go in with this Emco Beauty hydrating cleansing oil. Um, and I do like a first wash with this to get like majority of the makeup off. And then probably naughty, but I'll go in with my cellar water as well. And then I'll go in with a toner. So I don't know if that's like too much. It probably is because this is like a cleansing oil. I mean a cleanser as well. Anyway, just to get off like that last bit of makeup sometimes i don't do that step sometimes i just go straight in with the mecca max clean sweep gentle exfoliating and brightening toner and then i will go in with the water cooler calming hydration serum mecca by mecca max as well i love this got like a tiny sample that lasted for ages in one of my beauty loot boxes and i actually repurchased which is shocking for me and then I will go in with a moisturizer and that has been in Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream because I actually got a sample of this ages ago as well and I tried to make it last as long as I could because I loved it. Um, and then never bought it again. I had been using the CeraV CeraVe <laughs> um, moisturizing lotion, which is also really good, um, more affordable as well. But this is just next level. My brother got this for free um for like some type of um training course that he did which was amazing i was like yes please he's like take what you want i'm like okay um yeah so let's do this i've got my like set from tiwi on with the scrunchies it's literally saved my life and a face towel that will be handy wouldn't it okay let's do this i'm gonna look a bit more disheveled but it leaves like my skin really bright and smooth even without makeup on and that is my face after obviously lots less tan <laughs> compared to my neck oh my god look what it did there um but yeah really shiny and glowy i mean let's just signal down here it's been awful for the past like couple months but that is my skincare at the moment and in the morning i literally just wash it with water it is now Tuesday um, morning, if you would believe it, and I'm just gotten ready to go to work. Um, I'm running a bit late, but it's school holidays, so I don't think the traffic will be too bad. This is my outfit. The scarf's looking a bit weird, but I just get too cold. Um, I might change it to the other way, but yeah. Anyway, I am going to go. Harvey. Hello. It is freezing. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> um, this seems like the only time I get to vlog. Uh, everything's been kind of like a bit groundhog day this week. So I've literally just come home every day so far and either taken Harvey for a walk or like Harry was home earlier yesterday. So he took Harvey for a walk, which was good for me because it's just so cold now. Like as soon as I get home, I just want to have a shower and get changed into comfy clothes. But oh my God, has it been freezing? Anyway, I had a shower last night, washed my hair. Um, so I have to go do something with it because normally I kind of just brush it because I would style it on the weekend and it would be good to go. Like look at the kinks in my hair. Um, yeah, so I have to do something with that. Um, and then today's just obviously a normal work day. So yeah, oh my god, I've been like not being able to get back to sleep in the morning. So I've been reading my book because it seems to be the only time I've been able to read my book. Um, I'm seriously loving Magnolia Parks. Like so frustrating to read, but oh my god, like so addictive. Like I can't stop reading it. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving that. And that's about it. And then on the weekend, we've got um, one of our best friends at Pub Golf, which is exciting. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but he did it for his birthday last year as well. And it was super fun. So that's what we're doing this weekend. Just trying to find my other earring. There it is. I got these really cute, like, bee earrings. I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to wear them today. And that's it. Goodbye. Let's just pop you in my favourite spot. I just got back. Oh, how did I miss it? From getting my nails done. I got like a really cool blue colour. Hey. There's birds out. 
um, yeah, so I got them done. Lovely. Had to post something um, from Depop. So I went to the post office. And then I made a couple pit stops um, as usual. First up, I went to Kmart and I actually got this collapsible like laundry hamper because the one we have now is not fitting everything we need. And because I can only do the washing like once or twice a week, it like really builds up between like towels and all of our clothes, like Harry's um, like work uniform and stuff. That's what I got from there, plus a couple other bits, but they're all at the bottom of this bag. So I thought I might as well just show you what I got from Coles because Harry saw Christian Petrarca um, make meatball subs. So we're gonna make them um, when we watch the footy tonight, which is gonna be fun. Um, Carlson play, which I'm excited about, even though we lost last week. But anyway, I got some veggie chips. Now I haven't had these in ages, and these are the. Um, purple and orange sweet potato plus taro ones and they were on special i thought it's something to have um while we watch the footy maybe as well like just a bit of a snacky i mean i'm pretty, I, I like them but i don't know if i like them i got some passata for the meatball which i'll like season myself i got some rocket and i got these meatballs um which are the grazed grass fed meatballs they're actually cheaper than the home brand ones which was odd um but then i actually got this to try too because i saw it in georgia kate's blog um and she got the chocolate honeycomb one but i couldn't see that i only saw this in the banana i'm not the biggest fan of like banana flavored milk so i got this one to taste even though it's freaking normal milk which i've not had in a long time i thought i might as well just see how we go because it's 30 grams of protein so i might have that for my lunch today um because i'm just like not that hungry we had a massive feed last night like i woke up so full still um our eyes were too big for our mouths last night and the food wasn't even that good which was like so depressing um so yeah this is the calmest he's been since like i got home in a long time like he usually understandably is like really excited when we come home he was i think i've calmed him down quite good today which was good by me um anyway yeah so might have this and like an egg or something like egg maybe like half a bagel or something like that we'll see how it goes i got these for the meatball subs these are the tiger bread like little loaves um, and they're not like as hard as like a ciabatta, like roll or whatever. Plus you like toast them and everything. So I thought these would be good. We'll give them a go. They were so cheap. They were like $1.25 for two of those. And I got my favorite cookies of all time. It might be a controversial one, but it's the raisin and oat cookies. I love these. I love like oatmeal cookies. So I got them as a little treaty. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got a fat mozzarella ball. We already had pesto, which he uses in his meatball subs, which I never thought to use. So that's going to be interesting. Is that it from Coles? I think it is. I got Harvey some pig ear strips from Kmart. Now, I only get the things that are 100% like their main ingredient, and this is 100% pork. Um, and he really likes these pig ears. We only really give them to him when we leave the house. Like, we'll give him like a couple of these strips as like a treat when we leave. Um, and it like really helps with leaving him by himself for a bit, so that's good. The most exciting thing I obviously got was this matching like pajama set. Um, and I freaking love the pattern. I'm pretty sure Princess Polly had a pattern like this in a top. Um, but it's like, yeah, I'm gonna wear them obviously as pajamas. They were in the pajama section, but I thought as like a um, another option to my like full on flannelette pajamas which the bambi ones shrunk in the wash which was depressing the other ones the pink and white ones are still going strong but these are the matching pants so i'm probably going to get changed into them later because i'm like that and i just want to wear everything that i've gotten straight away but yeah this jacket's actually from princess Party. i thought it was quite cute i'm really into like the quilted bomber jackets just think they're cool they're really easy to chuck on especially for like something as simple as just running to the shops i literally have like leggings my runners i can't see um and this over the top so yeah i'm gonna set up this laundry hamper as well and do all that stuff i have to make the bed um and harry's at like this first aid course which 
he has to do for work on a Saturday, which was depressing. But anyways, yeah, that's it. I might check in when I um, have something more exciting to say, which might not be for a while. So I've had this outfit on for literally five minutes, not even, and Harvey's already like poured me from outside while I was trying to wipe his paws. White probably wasn't the best color on my part, um, especially in winter with a dog, but that's fine. I mean, like I literally can't have anything nice, but um, I don't know if you can see, but I've just wiped all there. That's probably why it looks see-through right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, they have like cups, like outlining of cups, which I always, I'm not the biggest fan of because it like literally limits to like if your boobs sag, which like 95, probably more percent of us, our boobs sag. Um, it doesn't like look nice. So I had to put on like a little bralette, which is fine. Um, but yeah, this is like the set. <laughs> I don't know how I can show you. It probably doesn't look as great on me as it could on someone else. But the pants like aren't the same fabric. Like, they're not the same fabric, so it looks like a bit odd. But anyway, they're comfy as, so I'm happy with that. I don't ever wear it around the house anyway. But it's, like, sunny. It's nice. It's a nice little refreshing vibe compared to all the winter days that we've had so far. I'm getting really hungry now. Um, I had a coffee this morning. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we went to, like, our local little cafe kind of thing. Um, took Harvey for a walk this morning and then yeah Harry went to this first aid thing I went to get my nails done and ran a few errands like you saw now I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna eat or drink or whatever maybe I'll have a cookie but yeah that's what I feel like doing and yeah Harvey hates having his paws white and it's really annoying so I'm gonna put a dressing gown on hopefully he doesn't pour my white top again okay success i was able to wipe his paws don't mind this awful angle i'm gonna have to like hunch because i don't have anything taller to put you on um but i'm gonna try this smoothie and have a cookie that is good a bit scared for my tummy later but yum. Okay, lovely. That's the Rockaby protein smoothie in Dutch chocolate. Don't know if I mentioned that before. All right, let's have one of these cookies. Half of one. Oh, they're so beautiful. I mean, like, I'm not a massive fan of. I'll have one with heaps of raisins. The taste is just so good. Mm. morning it is now sunday and we um, got up quite early to go to the gym because we have brunch for my dad's birthday today do we mm. yes um and it's at this place that does like souffle pancakes never tried them before so that's what i'm getting ready for now um so i went to the gym did the groceries this morning and just unpacked them had a shower and i'm gonna curl my hair harvey thinks he can fit like he can but he like low-key breaks it <laughs> excuse me but nice Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna cut my hair, do my makeup, get dressed, and then um, we're gonna get going soon. So I have to get started. Um, yeah, let's go. Happy Monday. I'm just getting ready to go to work. Um, and I'm just literally about to leave. So I thought I'd check in and say hello, at least for today. Um, I'm just putting some perfume on. 
Hello. Wow, what a good vlogging spot. Oh, I literally feel like the weekend went for two seconds as usual. And yeah, I'm not ready to go back, but today is the end of school holiday, so students are back on campus, which is fun. Hopefully it's not too hectic today, but like the first day back is kind of always a bit unpredictable. Anyway, I'm gonna leave my camera here because my battery needs to charge, but I'll check in hopefully a bit later. Also, I finished Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. So like the third book in Daisy Hates, I think. Loves it, loves it. I read the other reviews and not all of them loved it, but I loved it. And I thought that it like really put Magnolia in like a different vibe. Anyway, I really liked it. Okay, I'll check back in later. Hello. It is Tuesday afternoon. Just got home from work. Oat and raisin cookie from Coles. So good. I got some packages. So, I got a couple from Depop. And they're all like just landing around the house jumpers. So, I got the one mile grey version with like the blue navy stitching. And it is in like perfect condition. And it was like 30 bucks. So, I got that which looks nice and warm. I just thought the gray was a bit more wearable than the green and I'm trying to sell that tracker set because I don't love it and I don't wear it enough. But again, if it gets like, if it doesn't get sold, it's fine. And this one is another two, oh, this one came in tissue paper. Um, another two jumpers. So I have the beige version of this blue one and I wear it to death. And I love the blue, which sadly, this one just chipped because Harvey was being annoying. Um, I can't even think tissue paper. I don't do that for my. But yeah, this jumper, it's a USA one. And I love the color. I just thought it was fun. I also wear these to the gym and everything too. So I needed to do like a big clear out of my jumpers. And I thought this was a good opportunity. And then this green one which I had never seen before, but also from Glassman's. I just thought it was a cool alternative. So that was those. Not for you. Get down! <laughs> I swear. I'm going to take him for a walk. So that's why he's hanging around. My beauty parcel because my beauty loop. This box is ah, this box is drenched. Okay, so the things I actually purchased to get like the beauty loop box, which I could have just gone to the shops, but I actually needed a couple things. I didn't know this was coming this big. I got the Soap and Glory Fake Flake Away Body Scrub. This is apparently really good to take off your fake tan with. So I'm gonna try that. Um, I love all the Surf and Glory stuff. I'm pretty sure I've gotten samples of this before, like in the little tub. And I also got the Morphe Skin Tint to try. And I really hope this is good because I'm running out of my Emco Beauty like BB cream that I use every day. And this looks like a good match for when I'm like fake tan. So that's gonna be fun to try. I got it in the shade. Hey, he's got the remote. Um, Hint of honey, which is lovely. Just eyeing down my dog. Did I get any samples? Oh yeah. I got the Mecca Cosmetica a Hydrating Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. Lovely, I always love a moisturizer to try. Mecca Beauty Loop, I'm level one, duh. Um, Cause I can never seem to spend like heaps of money at Mecca, even though like recently I have been. What's this? The Corez, Corez? I don't know how to pronounce it. Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser pre plus pre, pre plus probiotics. Okay, next in this beauty loop box, I got the 
Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. Oh my god, how cute is that? I've never tried that before. Mario Badescu, a bit of a throwback. The facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I used to buy the big version of this all the time. And then a Patology sheet mask. That is stunning. Lovely. I can't wait to try all of them. The last Beauty Loot box I got, actually, I bought the full size of the Hyaluronic like water cooler by Mecha Max or whatever it's called. Amazing. Like, that's the first thing I ever bought from like a sample I got from one of them. But yeah. That is everything. Good morning. It is now... Hello. It's now Wednesday. It's 6.33. Um, I don't know where that light is coming from. I'm going to put this on. Anyway. Um, and I'm about to just do a little bit of makeup. Um, obviously my face does not match my neck. I have the same jackets in rotation at the moment. That's just what winter is doing. Um, and yeah, I wanted to try this skin tint today that I got yesterday. The Morphe one. I really hope it's a good color match um but yeah oh my god i literally i tried the um cleanser i got the cora's one and i also tried the watermelon moisturizer yeah i tried the moisturizer that was really nice i really liked the consistency of that and it made my skin um like feel and look really good i have this one breakout that's actually really sore like you know when you like i've got one but it feels like I've got 50 because it's so sore. Um, so I'm just going to go in with some sunscreen and some bronzing drops. And then I'll check back in when I'm actually up to using the tint. And we'll see how I go. I don't know what was happening with my camera there. But I tried to film that just then. Um, I just popped... I just did the bronzing drops. Don't know why it's yellow. Did bronzing drops and uh, sunscreen. Now I have gone in with the Maybelline Perfector 4 in 1 Glow, um, which I just normally mix in with the Emco Beauty one that I usually use. So this one I'm not a massive fan of because of the dropper, but the reviews were so good I just had to try it. Um, I'm not going to use heat, so I'm not even going to drop it on my face. I'm just going to like dot it round and hope that it doesn't drip everywhere. It looks like it's the same colour as this Perfecta by Maybelline. It might be a bit too orange. But hopefully I can balance it out with everything else I use. I just go in with a buffing brush these days. Just because I'm too lazy to go and wet my beauty blender. But this does the job anyway. That's like what it looks like. It still looks really natural as well. Like you can still see everything I can do with my face. But it just gives me a bit more colour, which is what I'm after, especially like on a work day. I'm not too fussed. So we'll see how that goes for the whole day. So this is what everything ends up looking like. I just put on, um, what did I put over the top of it? Concealer, uh, like a cream contour. I did like this cream blush. Um, I did some powder. And then I set my face with setting spray. This is what it's looking like. I mean, it looks quite similar to the one I've been using anyway. So I'm happy about that. The whole thing, like I said before, is just like the oxidizing. I really just did nothing with my hair. I just straightened it because it was like still a bit like wavy for me curling it on the weekend. But it wasn't like curly enough for me, like for all of it to be curly. So it looked a bit weird. Plus it is getting like quite oily. Hello, happy Thursday. I don't really think I checked in yesterday besides the morning as well. Um, but yeah, it is Thursday morning. I just had like a kerfuffle with Harvey because he stole something out of the bin and I just needed to leave. So I was just like, I don't care what you have. So I took a piece of his food and like kind of lured him in to the laundry where we've got the flap door and stuff for him to get out during the day. But um, yeah, I've got a bit of a Melbourne outfit on today. I've got my black coat and cardigan and I've got my jeans on and like my little flats. I mean, that's the most awful outfit check, but I actually have to head off now. Um, and yeah, I am going to leave for the day, another day. 
and I'll check in maybe later. I've got nothing exciting going on, but yeah. Hello, it is Thursday afternoon. Oh, that's an awful, the light's so bright, it's like washing me out. Um, I had to head home from work for a meeting, which is nice. Get to leave a little bit earlier. Came home to Harvey literally abolish, abolished, abominated. I don't even know the word, but he like has wrecked outside, which is awesome. And I'm not touching it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna quickly get changed into something more comfy. Um, and I'm just looking back on to work now because I've still got like 40 minutes before my meeting starts. Um, yeah, I actually have to put some washing on as well. But yeah, so let's go see that. Um, if you're having any, happy Friday. Looking a bit shocking, but just going to get my coffee with my friend. I thought Harvey was choking just then. Um, yeah, going to get coffee with Danny, then coming back home, starting work. What is going on here? Okay, I need to leave. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm now back. I literally just finished my coffee on the way home. Just gonna focus. Um, I'm just gonna get changed because I'm actually like running kind of on time. Normally I'm a bit later coming back home. Harvey won't let me wipe his feet. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and do that, but I'm gonna get changed quickly because I mean, I'm all black and I just tried and he just like poured all of my leggings and they're dirty. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get changed quickly and then I'm gonna have to start up my laptop and get ready to start work. I am now changed. I'm just putting away some stuff in the dishwasher that we put on last night. Um, and then I'm gonna start my laptop up. Harvey's literally so funny at the moment. We've had to literally hide everything possible again um, because he went through the stage where he was really good. Like he wasn't interested in anything that was really hanging around the house. So we had like cushions back on the couch. We were like so excited. And then of course adolescence hits and he attacks everything again. He's even gone for like the couch cushions and stuff. Um, so yeah, we've been trying to just like remove everything possible that he can get his hands on. Um, cause then it like stops us getting angry and it stops him like, you know, feeling like he's in trouble. So that's what we've done. Um, I'm going to finish putting the dishes away and then start work. Hello, I'm just editing right now and realized I probably should end the vlog here. I didn't realize how long it was. Um, but I might start another one on the weekend, but for now I'm just working, obviously catching up on the Tea with Cancel podcast because like, if you know, you know. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.